last time on Elden Ring. It's been like 12 hours, so <laughs> not that much, really. Um, I didn't really do anything, but I did do something. I did go over to check on our buddies. And I noticed that Azur was gone. Oh. Oh. What happened? Good fucking question. Azur set? Yeah. Crown, robe, machete? Unclear. Um, now, they're not there anymore. And the possibility, could they be a part of the Selen Ball? Uh, she did say Master Azurus and Luzats cannot return to the Academy and help restore the primeval current. Then that's what happened to them. And their sets are dropped on the spot. So everybody get in the Selen Ball. Yo. That's horrifying. <laughs> right? All right, Selen. But it's not like they were really all that much there to begin with. So one has to kind of question, like, is she in that state because of the state they were in? Or is that what happens to all life once it merges in? Well, you know, there are more than three faces on that ball. But that selling ball outcome is not it's not great. Uh, collecting yep. bodies of masters. Yeah. Okay. No, uh, like, people were quick to point out, like, I think within that same, like, 45-minute span, I was like, oh, shit, yo, Glintstone rules. <laughs> Immediately to Glintstone, not oh, even once. Nope. <laughs> nope. Never. So, yeah, no, no, no. Um, no, Selen did some <laughs> did some really bad things, and she got a <laughs> that sit down was she, hilarious. Actually. She got a bad outcome. <laughs> like, oh, Selen's in the middle. Sit at the re rest at the side of Grace. <laughs> Rosella, <laughs> <laughs> undo the quest. Yeah, that was wild. Um, anyway, yeah. So, so you went to see Azur, Crown of Azur, primeval current sorcerer, set with a prominent blue-green glintstone. This crown replaced Azur's brain and skull altogether, and now removed from his body, it is all but dead. What power remains within raises the potency of Azur's primeval current sorceries at the cost of additional FP consumption. Replaced his skull and brain. That's nuts. That was not a fancy helmet. It was his head. Um, and suddenly, all that about, you know, seeing beyond the stars and fucking it consuming them and them getting lost. It's like, yeah, like, it, they let it all in. Too much. Uh, kind of fucking nuts. Set uh -huh. with the robe as well. Robe reserved for Grandmasters at the Academy of Riyadukaria, corroded by blue green glintstones. Since the Grandmasters Azur and Luzat were driven from the Academy, no one has achieved their formerly held rank. Yeah. No more Grandmasters? Well, so this is the thing, and I guess um, I saw there were. Oh, I think it might have been like one or two people, but like there, I, I did see like some people questioning, going like, "Hey, like, is there any hard confirmation about them being the twins, pay, twin sage conceptus, uh, conspectus or not?" And I'm like, I, I'm just, I'm just taking guesses, like anything else we've done, yeah. right? I'm not co committing that to paper, saying I'm a lore master that knows for sure. Yeah. I'm just looking at the portrait we saw and the hints of those the two people together and, and the same that's a possibility yeah because yeah. that's the type of thing that like other games in this other things in this game and other games in this series that's the exact loose type of implication that makes sense yeah you see two people right they're holding the things that respectively reflect these colors you see them again in the form of the helmet given a title and then you now see this form of them and you you have to infer so it, it's it's just a guess you know but um I think it makes sense. It seems it seems still plausible to me. I'm down. Um, and either way, uh, that outcome, not great. But hey, cool set. Mm -hmm. Stones. Machet corroded by blue green glintstone worn by Azur, primeval current sorcerer. Azur had reached a near inorganic state. Well, he replaced his brain and skull. Yeah. I guess like a lot of other things might have gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
full of glintstones. Um, but no one else made it to the rank they were at before they, uh, after they left, rather. Yeah. So, you know, the once again, the OG anime generation does all the coolest shit, the biggest moves, and then the new kids suck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Boo much. the new generation. <laughs> Boo the next generations. So this is what it looks like when you put it on, and your head sticks out the front there. Okay. So it's a big head. You're wearing someone's head. You're not wearing a helmet. <laughs> Creepy. I like the 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 fur on the on the coat though. Mm-hmm. You know. Um. I, maybe again. Maybe I'm just attributing the the grim. Um, a factor to like lots of Night's Watchmen looking garbs, but I feel like Lord. Um, I feel like Game of Thrones had a lot of characters that had big old fuzzy, you know, uh, 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 capes and coats like that, yeah. and, and I'm seeing them more in this in this game's attire than the other Souls games. And then of course you got to go visit Lusat. Okay, Glitz the Crown, the robe, the machette, mm-hmm. and the leg wraps. He comes with leg wraps. Giant blue glintstone crown worn by Luzat, primeval current sorcerer. This crown will replace Luzat's brain and skull together, and now removed from his body, it is all but dead. What power remains within raises the potency of Luzat's primeval current sorceries at the cost of additional FP con- consumption. Yo, 2000 IQ? Yo. Big brain mode? Galaxy brain? Hell yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker plays Brain Age. <laughs> you can see it. And all the sequels finished it <laughs> big brain academy too <laughs> wow the robe reserved for grandmasters corroded by blue glintstones and no one has achieved their formerly held rank of grandmaster mm-hmm. similar um, type of thing yeah so this one raises um th- so their respective types of uh sorceries get boosted so it's interesting because like um some staffs boost certain types of power and then some equipment as well. You can. It seems like um, by um, mixing and matching. Uh, so if you have, like, for example, the carrion staff, and it boosts carrion sorcery, mm-hmm. and then um, you two hand and you pull out the meteorite staff, which boosts meteorite sorcery and gravity stuff. When you cast, it'll have both. If you have two hands holding different staffs. The staff you cast with, on the other hand, will boost the other boosts one. Boosts both; they're both together mutually. Exactly. That's sick. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So, doesn't matter which one you cast with, you get the benefits of both, right? That's interesting because you can now consider like, oh shit, what if I wanted to put on a staff that like had multiple benefits and then a piece of headgear that had some benefits? Like, you could absolutely create like a major specific sorcery build yeah. by you know equipment plus both staffs Full on blue or um, like mixed but a lot of that stuff is going to probably melt your fp in exchange and there's talismans too that will like yeah. speed up the casting or you know do this or do that like you there's a lot you can overlap together but the fact that you let um two handing the staffs like overlap both benefits adds a ton of versatility mm. uh so that's pretty sick uh yeah and then the wraps similar description and then the leggings ragged waist cloth that extends to the thighs common amongst old-fashioned sorcerers yeah yeah so i hey santa yeah i went back to santa for a minute i like the big dumb head (laughs) it's kind of it's kind of wild but it reminds me of frieza (laughs) <laughs> you know i feel it reminds me of like everything that represents frieza yeah, yeah, aesthetically yeah. so bad. that's that's fun um and then yeah the crystal shoulder sticking out so that's it that's, that's it that's collection yeah and now we're back in we've seen a few of these thrones mm-hmm, mm-hmm. still no idea why or what but we met two of them um, and they were dead, mm-hmm. weren't they? Very much so. Yep. Um, oh, these roots. Yes. So, uh, with that, I think I also, yeah, rearranged my spells a little bit. Yeah, you got lucidity on it? Uh, indeed. But yeah. 
let's just pick back up where we left off. Seek battle. I'm back. Oh, right into here. Big wet purple. Yeah. And you know, enjoying some some fashion changes for the hell of it. Cause why not? Are we immediately into some shit? Yeah. Uh, that's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're immediately into some shit. Okay. Okay. Um, let's assume it's going down. Let's assume it's going down. Cheeky message. Yeah. Thank God it's not poison. Oh, God. bugs everywhere. Jesus Christ, it's huge. Oh, weak full group ahead. It's fucking gargantuan, dude. Is it dead? I mean, if those are bugs, they're giant bugs. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't. Oh, they're eating. Holy shit, this is big. Ugh. Ugh. Fia's champion. Oh? The deathbed, deathbed companion. What's up? Oh, ho, ho, ho. that ain't it. That ain't it. The music didn't stop. Nope. That is not it. Sorcerer Rogier. Rogier. What is happening? Oh, fuck. Oh, dude. Yo. Oh. Who's next? Yo, we have a gauntlet? All the warriors. Oh, oh my god. Two of Fia's champions and Lionel the Lionhearted. The Lionhearted. Okay, we got an NPC match uh -huh. here. <laughs> Uh huh. That blood grease. Pursuers. Nice dodge. Interrupted. Combo again. Oh. Look at this guy. Bloodhound Fang. Oh, the combo. Okay, okay, okay. We need to be a little smarter on our spacing here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, we have a boss rush? Uh, swinging while they're out of range is stupid and kills my stamina so that I can't handle when they come in and start comboing. So, hit and run. Play smart. Don't miss. A little bit of a rush. Um... What's my flask on? Uh, stance break easier and boost strength. Okay. Uh, stance break? Yeah, sure, sure. Sure. Damn. Interesting. Not what I expected at all. Uh, I'll grab those souls if I can. Oh, they're all the way up. Oh, boy. Way in. Way, in. way, way, way in. That's okay, we got close to get the champion to come out, right? Right about now. And a teleporter right there, you see that? I saw it while you were fighting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. If you did, that, that's that's the exact type of shit that I am not going to notice while I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Different champion. Yeah, with a helmet. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, this is gonna be a this is a a unique thing. It's gonna be a little different every time. It's gonna be a little different every time. Uh, I'll just take like, the sip. I'll take the sip. Just like when we were at the Great Jar with the summons, I guess. Different enemies. 
Rogier, right on time. That spell isn't scary, Rogier. We put that one back in the box. <laughs> Here we go. 3v1. Wow. Shield up. Bad place to be. Oh my god. Nito Ryu. Two blades. All right, we're going to have to pick our shots here. Nice. Whoa. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Nice. Four flasks left. Oh, he coated his sword with gravity. Oh, shit. What hurt him there? Oh, it's I'm the attack he's doing. Okay. Oh, he's spending yeah. the blood, the FP. Still you. The HP, rather. Yep. Spending that blood. Oh! Okay, okay, disappear, disappear, go away. Oh, God. Mm. Patience is a virtue. That's oh, that it. That one hurt. That one hurt. Oh, again? Ah, come on. Oh, man. Woo! Uh-oh. We good, we good, we good. Down you go, champ. Two hands. Final flask. Nice. What a roll. Uh oh. Oh, this is gonna be close. Ho! Oh! <laughs> is it good? That's it. That's Great it. Great enemy failed. Fia's missed. Okay. Teleporter appeared. They, Grace appeared. There very possibly could have been one more. And there's a figure over there, like on the left. Okay, hold up. Let's sit. There's a lot of stuff. Let's just sit. Um. Yeah. That, uh, some things never change. And, like, the group, the triple kiting. Yeah. Is, uh... You have to take your time. Same shit, right? Reminds me of, um... Um... Fighting... Uh... Lotrek. With his yeah. two friends. Yes. Right? You gotta just run and find... Take a shot and then run and take a shot. Um... Because they're, they're coming at you. Uh -huh. Hard. Okay. All right. And, uh, yeah. There's definitely some... DS2 stuff that I'm not going to mention. Oh, thank you. That comes later. So, what was that? Uh, probably Fias. an incantation or something? Or not? Fia's Mist. Uh... 
With sorcery? Oh, okay. Raises the mist of death before the caster. Oh, that's what uh, the, it was casting. 18 faith required. Of course. Sorcery of Fia, the deathbed companion, creates a deathly mist before the caster, which inflicts a death blight upon those who enter. Can be cast while in motion, and charging enhances the range of the mist. This sorcery was developed to oppose the round table hold, and is effective only against the tarnished. Um, yeah. So, mm hmm. No, I, I, I definitely can see that this is int and faith, but it's 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 dropping into the sorcery slot and yeah. it's uh it's another thing that we can't use so cool what are you gonna do awesome um so the stories are converging um or i should say the storylines of the of the different characters are converging because um now fia d d's brother uh rogier certainly like were on the outside, like Rajay was investigating what was happening with the Mark and Rani. Um, and now that we're fully on, like, her mission going down this direction, like, we're being... It's interesting, because this was like the path Blythe went down, you know? And it kind of reminds me uh, of shows like Game of Thrones, yeah. where the camera cuts to a bunch of different people in, like, the early seasons. And then as you go on they get smaller groups because people meet up and some people are not around anymore and then eventually you, you, you work your way down to a smaller group of people to follow you know because you start out with a giant cast and that's Things a lot happen. yeah you're following 20 different people in 20 different locations and if people start to build up and timelines come together and it simplifies over time and that's always a, a fun process to see how like oh shit the two things let's see how they interact and and, and why, for that matter? Okay. Um, I want to cast death on people. Yeah. <laughs> well, then change your build. Burp. Cool. Sorcery was developed to oppose the roundtable hold, effective only against tarnished. Uh, so, PvP only? Hmm. Is what that sounds like. Um... Yeah. Casting death seems pretty, pretty, pretty good. What is going on? Long time no see. Right? Ah, there you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order? Hmm. You know, um... <laughs> <laughs> Straightforward and to the point. Oh, shit. <laughs> Straightforward and to the point. Damn. Not just no. No and. You're not the only one. Do you still wish to be held by me? <laughs> hey. Long time no squish. <laughs> Incredible. Get that warmth. And watch the life drop. Been a while. Seen it? Yeah. Does that ha did that happen in the beginning too? As I soon as we got I, it, I didn't see though the bar. I don't remember the bar appearing. I don't remember the bar appearing the first time we got it. It happened. If it did, then I missed it completely. Damn. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, that's that's telling you. Talk in secret. Have you ever seen a Hallowbrand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's Hallowbrand has since been recovered at the round table hold. But there is another hollow brand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a hollow brand scored his flesh, but another exists. 
Another mark in the shape of the half wheel wound of the centipede. And I must find it. Well. Before the time comes we receive our Lord. Well. My hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you? Even then? Uh, Give the curse mark of death. So, um... You know, it's interesting, because I was thinking about what Rani said as she was leaving, right? And right before she tells you to tell E.G. and Blythe, I love them, she says, um, um, I won't be your pawn any longer, and, um, um, give, give, he's, and she says, the, give a message to your two fingers, Rani the witch is coming, and basically, like, and she's gonna end it, and she's gonna end it, you know? Um, so, like, we know where she's going. We know why she's going there. Um, but she mentioned that, uh, by taking out, um, that last one, the, uh, the, the, the Wolfman, the, um, I forgot the, the title they gave him, that she can now stand before them. Okay. So, um... You know, it, I guess the idea of the basically was that like the full shadow, the bay of full shadow, ex exactly. Like, yeah, she kind of mentioned that. Like, it seems as if that like she could not approach the round table hold before, perhaps, or or something like something was in the way, you know. Or she didn't specify that certainly, or at the very least, she couldn't perhaps go and directly kill the two fingers, you know. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm fully expecting to pop back over there any minute and see some shit going down because when she departs the doll like the, she says yeah. she, she points <laughs> at the wrestlemania sign and it's like yo i'm coming for the two fingers you know um is she gonna do it directly you know that's certainly that's another question entirely um and what does that mean for like um the capital and the earth tree as well right uh because the other thing that was interesting so yeah there was that right the limitation that she can now like surpass and then the other thing she mentioned was um that like what when, when you go back to the first conversation where she's talking about like she rejected um what the two fingers had in store for her as, as advancing to the empyrean um it makes it sound as if like i didn't want to follow the greater wills like forced path for me and I didn't want to be its pawn right yeah is what she says so does that imply that Marika is a pawn then and that she is not fully in control because if she was the Empyrean prior or is the Empyrean prior uh that she, she too has no that, freedom if she even had that that title I guess well she did yeah right uh, Marika was the was the one before, right? So uh, they that generation of three kids can be the ones that can become the next Empyrean to succeed Marika. Yeah. But um, the lore and the, the whispers we've been getting from the church and such are all kind of, uh, you know, we're, we're framed up to think that like she's this like goddess and she came from beyond and certainly is uh, powerful, but. If Rani's rejecting that path, it must be for a reason. So it must, and and it's, you know, not unreasonable to imagine that um, if she didn't want to be controlled, then it's likely the current Empyrean is controlled and is not able to do her own will because the greater will is overriding that. You know. I see. She's fighting against something that she doesn't want to happen to her. Likely, the one who's currently in that situation has it happening to them. This is the other Hallowbrand. How did you... Oh, my utmost thanks. Perfect timing. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second illustrious life. You are my, our, true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. See, Dee's brother might have some thoughts about this, though. Radiant Balakin's Blessing. Okay, a stronger version? Hmm. I will soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me. The new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods. 
as the ruin of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. Literal deathbed companion. Yep. Hopping in the sack <laughs> with the dead man. <laughs> Looking for work. Cold body. Yep. Huh. I will soon lay with Godwin to conceive my child, the rune. Brandish my rune and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. What kind of weird anti-pregnancy is that? Like death conception? I would uh, huh. I become Okay. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna grab that. Call it fifteen in case the conversation was long. Huh. Congratulations. You are now in the, s at the you're in the second nega trimester. <laughs> you're in week minus eight. Oh God. Does it go to like minus eight to minus thirty nine or to minus eight to zero? I'm gonna say there's trimester minus one, <laughs> trimester minus two, and then trimester minus three. Mm -hmm. Probably. Uh, how much life does... Well, that didn't change the life bar, actually, when we got it the second time. Um, let's, let's see here. Is one cursed and one isn't? So the original. Okay. Protection of the Hidden Temple. Of the guise of a bedchamber. Um, forget aches and pains in death. There's only peace. For in death, there can be no sensation. Okay. And then the Radiant Palakin's Blessing, protection of a hidden temple in the guise of a bedchamber. This blessing is of the utmost rarity. Uses FP to temporarily raise poise. The effect lasts longer than a mere favor. It is said that a deathbed companion will only produce a blessing of this kind for a champion, but once in her entire life. Mm. The soul blessing which she imbues of her own volition. Okay. So it's real rice, but it's one time. The, the one that hurts you, you can get back by coming back for a hug. And then this one is uh, legit. Okay. Um, I hope it's a super good item to make it worth it if it's one per one per game. Um, temporarily boost poise, temporarily raise poise. Lasts longer than a mere favor. How long is longer than a mere favor? <laughs> um, yeah, those are flies for scale. <laughs> you see them from a distance because bugs, you know, surrounding something makes you think about how dead it is. But given the size of this fucking thing, those, ju those bugs have to be humongous. Uh, is that it? Yeah, okay, come in for a free hug. One more time. Oh. They don't even ask you if you want to do it either. Just come get some. Yeah. I will to conceive brandish my stay the person by becoming She's gonna conceive a rune. With Godwin. Yeah. So, I mean, it makes sense. If she loves death and he's um, the prince of death now, first of the dead, that comes with a lot of prestige. Uh, but here's another thought. Um, uh, 
if you can summon the dead to come fight for you, like she can, because we just fought Rogier and her other champions, could D not be resummoned as well? The other D, the original, you know, when she when she kills you, are you really dead? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, right. Fuck off! What is this? Who cares? I hate it. <laughs> it's awful. Uh. Oh, that's terrible. Oh man. Okay, like this is wing-like. It's got like a scale, but it's like an appendage growing out. Um, looks like fabric there. Man. That's a lot of bugs. Is this Godwin? Is this what happened to him? think yo at the basement when we, when saw, we saw Roger get stabbed with the and we saw the 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 formation of there was something on the life on the wall right? it was it was roots that were um also looked like a person was merged into them right we were looking at the so like is this just the bottom of that same thing Reaching all the way out in this direction. I forget where that. It was in Stormvale. It was at the bottom of Stormvale. Uh, that's really far away. Um, could the roots from all the way there spread? I mean, the the earth tree spreads throughout the entire land. Its roots are everywhere. That's not unfathomable. Oh man, boy. Like, yeah. you're, if you're gonna tell me that death spreads throughout the roots, the roots, okay, but this, yeah, that is not what I expected. <laughs> you heard what I expected. I, I was expecting Nega Pit. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we saw the life come back into the corpse in the cutscene, and then you're like, oh, he gets up, and then is gonna well those who live in death also are just like shambling zombies right like they're yeah. not growing into giant horrific half plant creatures um holy shit okay and i'll tell you um <laughs> there's there's some this is not dissimilar to like some people that have an unfortunate fate in Bloodborne as well. Like, there's just some, like, horrible monstrosities that used to be people. And, like, it makes me think of that a little bit, too. Wow. Ugh. Okay. Not what I expected. Prince of Death's Throne. This is literally the name of the fucking thing. Wow. No mistaking it. Okay. It is. It is. A it is. So okay, and it makes sense why we found his staff right over there because, like, that's I'm when he that that's when he was last, I guess, able to actually hold the thing and use it. Uh, and then he walked a couple yards and plopped down, and that happened. So he has no use for that staff anymore. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, I almost want to go back down to the... The bottom one? The area where we saw Roger and uh -huh. look at that again, too. Yeah. Um, and the area where the roots are coming from is where he got stabbed. Huh. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ, man. You gotta do a lot of shit to kill a fucking demigod, mm -hmm. dude. <laughs> that is a convoluted process. 
Whoa. Okay. I, I kind of. Sorry, I'm just. I'm like. I'm a little obsessed with this model. Yeah, no, that's fair. This is. This is. Fucking interesting. Maybe we can explore and get on top. Or I strongly, strongly doubt it. But if we can. Not that one. Um. If we can get. Nah, I don't think we're gonna get much of a better look. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's a part of the tree, man. You just become a part of it. And then, of course, the next horrible question. Is he alive in there? Of course he is. He's part of those who live in death. He's the first of the dead. He didn't die. He became this. She's going to lay with him. She's going to conceive a rune. Uh -huh. There's, you know, define alive, certainly. There is a... He, there's a light in there. That's not just a corpse. Okay. 60k. Teleporter to God knows where. Oh, yeah, we're going straight. Um, I mean... I don't know if you wanted to, like, go around before we took that. Let's take a look uh, at the extremities. Ugh. And then... Also, let me use that blessing and just confirm that she's going to give me another one of the, uh, of the, the cheap one. Uh, this special one of a kind. This is the regular. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look around over here. And just go to the far other side. That seems like it might drop off to a death pit. I would be lying if I didn't say that I'm not somewhat relieved that this whole... He didn't start moving and <laughs> we'd have to fight him on foot. You know what I mean? Like, with that, with that torrent to run around with, that would be... That would have been tough. That would have been pretty tricky. Yeah. Oh. This cliff is too high for it, but... That jump makes you think, like, what if you could, like, just jump right into here from all the way at the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Are these death roots sticking out of, uh, like... They look exactly like the roots that pop out of your body uh -huh. when you get hit with death. Yep. So, yeah. Um, though they're not going to be collected to feed Garank. But, yeah, if, if we're looking at the base of the tree, which is this area that we're all in, yeah. and he's now fused with it, and we know that Deathroot came from that, it would make sense that the roots growing out of the ground around him are Deathroot. And the spell that we got that afflicts you with death, kills you, and pops Deathroot out. Grank would fucking have a feast down here. <laughs> Oh, Why don't we start collecting? Welcome to the buffet. Why don't we start collecting? You know? Yeah. Kind of looks like the back of a koi fish from this angle. Yeah? The scales? The size of this room, not for the boss fight at all, because they put a fog gate around you just for the lore implications of what happened to him. Yeah, she said, does she leave? No, she's she's still sitting. State change. One more for the road. Yes. Man, she must be stinky. Yeah, but... Well, no, not necessarily. Well, 
Should be warm, right? War- warm hug. <laughs> warm stink. From the from the, the like she's not dead, right? No. Nope. She just she's a big fan of them. This is goodbye, my dear. Oh. But I am satisfied. I choose to lie with Godwin of my own will. Okay. Not the remains of one chosen for me, and I will bear a child who will inherit your warmth too. What greater blessing could there be? But to be born a deathbed companion. Okay. Well, one, we're the warm one. Yeah. And she's she's enjoying that. <laughs> Two. It's her choice. Warmer than Godwin. <laughs> she was born a deathbed companion, but she's okay with that. Okay. This is goodbye, my dear. But I am satisfied. I choose to lie with God and I will bear a child who will inherit you. What greater blessing could uh-huh. be? Uh-huh. Um, well, you know what? I will leave you to figure out the mechanics of how that is going to work. And I wish you the best. <laughs> I, I don't know how it's going to work. But, uh, you know. Uh, not that one. Where's my normal ass bow? God damn it. There we go. Just. You can. You can. Alright. Alright, good luck with that, girl. <laughs> what mechanics? Physically, what? Anything else? Hey, your legs are crossed. Oh, are you busy? Touch fear. She's alive. Oh. Oh, that's how. Okay. Okay, that's how you do it. Well. What? Sure. <laughs> Peek from the closet <laughs> in a Superman outfit. Hey, cape is blue. That's a good start. What? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Right in. Right in. The buddy, the boy, Fortisax himself. Death everywhere. The Lich Dragon. Hey, Mimic, how you doing? Okay, okay. Oh, that hurt. Mimic, sturdier. Yo! Get that crumple. Oh, that looks cool. Oof. Rammed. Uh oh. Pop it. What is it doing? Uh oh. Death. Bad timing. Your Fortisac still hanging in there for Godwin. Never. Oh my gosh. Big spin. I mean, if he is still alive inside, then why would the buddy not still be around? Oh boy. Uh oh. Two. Let's go, Mimic. Out of range. Your four wings. 
A going down. Legend fell. Yeah, you were. Remembrance of the Lich Dragon. Yeah, you were. You were fucking sick. All right. I hope. Hey, he earned your respect in a fight. Mm -hmm. I hope I kind of did too. Can we be <laughs> friends? And there it is. Both of them. Ghost of Blythe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, that... She wouldn't say goodbye if it didn't result in... This. Mm -hmm. Mending Rune of the Death Prince. Wow, wow, wow. I kind of want to know more about, like, the, cl the classification of being a deathbed companion, being born to that, and having that role, and knowing that, like, this is your duty, and this is what happens. Take the power of its namesake via the finger reader. Remembrance of Lich Dragon Fortisax hewn into the Earth Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. After Godwin the Golden became the Prince of Death, the ancient dragon fought long and hard against the death within its companions. Oh. Alas, victory was never achieved, and its only reward was corruption. Oh. Wow. Loyal. A real one. I will go inside of you. A real one. Wow. Never quite died. Fought against it. Couldn't fix it. Got corrupted instead. Yeah. Wish I could tell your sister. Whoops. Well, <laughs> if we did it in the opposite order, <laughs> you know, maybe there would have been a shot. <laughs> but unfortunately not. Um... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we really gotta... Gotta piece together. Did Randy do this? And if so, what part of her plan does that cover? You know? If so, why? Um, discarding her own body as an Empyrean so that she could be like free from that and then continue uh, independently makes sense for her own path but if she also is the one who you know who done it um why right okay i mean there's always a a, a very reasonable assumption that like uh fucking the order over and like resetting it all is um desired you know we we know a house up on a hill that wants to burn the whole thing down <laughs> yeah. so okay Fortisax what a fucking cool name and you of course the mending rune of the death prince rune gestated by Fia the deathbed companion used to restore the fractured Elden ring when brandished by the Elden lord Formed of the two Hallobrand half wheels combined, it will embed the principle of life within death into order. The Golden Order was created by confining destined death. Thus, this new order will be one of death restored. The Golden Order was created by confining destined death, by getting rid of death, sealing its power, stealing it away. Or, well, not necessarily that last one, but this new order will be one of death restored. Huh. Okay. And you need the full rune in order to restore the ring. Um, and that should have been... Um, when when uh, Rani died, right? the mark should have been complete 
or when Godwin died, it should have been complete. But because there were two, it was half in each case. Yeah. In theory, one god dying would have been enough. But in this case, there were two and you had to put them back together. Okay. Okay. So part of the process then of uh, establishing the capital and, t- and, and, and um, everything that, you know, uh, preceded the, the, the setting that we're for in uh, involved getting rid of what Garank is supposed to be doing to begin with. So that, um, that would mean that, like, Malekith is, uh, or ra- that would imply that what Malekith was doing is, uh, in sealing that power and taking that, uh, that's also what the Order wanted, right? In order to establish it. Yeah, to seal it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Malekith was doing, Malekith was the one that did it, but that is what allowed the Order to then... Uh, establish Prosper, itself. Yeah. And the entire time, uh, Garank has just been there, sad and apologetic. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> and again. Dude, somebody. <laughs> Prince of Death, take a good long look. See the wrath of the Golden Order, the Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, oh prince. Look at this rotten hole. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Oh my god. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> This is revenge, you wait. This revenge. You go. Cool. Mm-hmm. This is the wrath of D. Mm-hmm. Okay. We gave him the armor. <sighs> she wants those who live in death to be protected. Right when when we become Elden Lord, she wants us to treat them with respect and not hunt them down. Mm-hmm. And he was like, "I'm not down with those who live in death." Absolutely not. And so she dealt with him, <laughs> and, now? and now other D dealt with her. But she was already kind of dead yeah. via the rune birth. Hey, uh, what and up, buddy? So you just. You just you 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 killed someone that was pretty much already dead. Ah, uh, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The golden order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darian, Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold, deliver my spirit. Darian, Darian, Darian. That's what he was saying. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. Darian, now I have no regrets. Honeyed rays of gold deliver my spirit. He is beholding that sword in the way that my art teacher taught me to behold a painting. <laughs> Stand back. Hold your hands out and take it in. Yeah, that dude is wild. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a bloody sword, all right. Yeah. But, like, it really does feel like he kind of just stabbed a body. Yep. There's, like, there's, there's a lot of blood. Her, her giving birth to the rune was kind of it, wasn't it? He has hood and robe. Well, get your revenge, like Gostock. Right? <laughs> stomp on the stomp on the corpse. Darian. Mm-hmm. Honeyed. 
Um, you are way less uh, sane than the <laughs> than the other D. <laughs> Let's sit down again. I mean, it feels like it feels like like this. <laughs> yeah, no, this is a story sit grace. Like, are you ready to advance to the next cutscene? Sit again. Uh, this has been the most active grace ever. Yo, if if you haven't played, what? What? <laughs> if you haven't played FromSoft games, like you're gone, right? Of course, yeah. You're gone. <laughs> R- ridiculously so. <laughs> Furthermore, this absurd moment right here, of like sit and update the state and update the state, this is a statement that says. Yeah, it's 2022. We are not changing. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. If we want it to be impactful, we'll put a cutscene. And if we don't, we will make you sit and unfucking load the game and reload the game. We are not changing. Eat shit. Single states updating is how we do. This is what makes a FromSoft game. Dude, they have had five games to do this. And we got a little bit of lip movement here and there. But this is like, nah, this is a preference and we are never changing it. And of course, Inseparable Sword and the Twin Set Helm, Armor, all back. Gauntlets, Greaves. It's yours. Now, here's the... I mean, did you just literally... Did you just end yourself on the spot after completing your goal? Seems like that was all there was for you. (sighs) What was up with Other D? Here, as the note said, not too far from him. I forgot to tell you, but it seems D has a younger brother. I heard he lies in a deep sleep in the aqueduct beside the eternal city of Nokron, and it's said he stood before the Prince of Death not far beyond that spot. D1 didn't seem that insane. Was obsessed with his goal, certainly, and had nothing really to say. But he was like, member of the round table holds. Yeah, he was chilling there. Out to go, out to hunt down the zombies. Fuck the undead. Yeah. Um, and then like, oh, you found this knife. Okay, I'll go give it to my brother. Yeah. Then this, but this dude is way more broken. Um, and you enabled it. By, him, by giving him the armor, we allowed him to come over too late, thankfully. And... Makes me almost kind of wonder if that's an outcome that could happen if you, you, uh, you know, like that type of outlook of him, like standing over the body is not, it, it's kind of, it's also like when, like, uh, uh, not law track, but, um, uh, uh, fuck demon souls. Uh, what was his name? The, the, betra- the traitor in demon souls. Uh, you open up the gate. Yeah. Uh, yurt. Yes, yes, yurt, yurt, yurt. So it's almost like that in a way where, like, he starts killing people. And I, I kind of, it makes me wonder if, like, did this sequence occur uh, in this way? Could it have occurred a different way where, like, you could get there and she's already dead and you you completely don't oh. get that part of it or not, you know? If you, anno- if you allow him to get the armor and if you don't do enough to get her the rune, if you don't give it to her in time, you know what I mean? Yeah. There, it feels like there's a possibility where you can get there too late or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Um, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Just a guess. So then he just, yeah, he came, he stabbed the body and went, I win! <laughs> and then drops dead. And you get your set back. Well, at least we get the sword with it. Sword forged by compounding silver and gold, a secret weapon to hunt those who live in death. Deals holy damage. The inseparable twins found solace in the Golden Order, the only institution not to revile them as accursed beings. Uh, 
So they're obsessed because they were accepted. Mm -hmm. Sacred Blade, Holy Essence, and fires off a Golden Blade projectile, retains its Holy Essence for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hmm. As a former member of the Order, I wonder what Godwin would have to, have to say as f first of the dead now. Basically the Nito of the world, you know? Um, also, yeah, this sword better do holy damage because compounding silver and gold makes for a shit sword. Yeah. <laughs> that would crumple and bend like as foil yeah. as soon as it con makes contact with like someone's body, much less like a plate. Uh, what a terrible concept for a, a, a weapon, unless it's blessed as fuck. Take some faith. All right. All right, this is not again. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> uh, one second. How does it swing? Like the boring blades. It's a blade. <laughs> That ain't Lucy. It's fine. Actually, it is. Oh, yeah. The moveset on that, that R2 was, is exactly like the swing <laughs> that you do when you do, when you, uh, when you do Lucy. But it doesn't look as cool. No, it's not, it's not dropping the sleep off on you. <laughs> but it's a, it's a good old sword. Straight up. That's not what I pressed. Yeah. <laughs> One more time. God wins awake. Yeah. <laughs> like, whoa. <gasps> If you got a cigarette, ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, let's 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 use our level, shall we? Damn, one hundred and fifty. I mean, we fought two bosses things. back to back. Yeah, and if I didn't uh, one shot it, those souls would have been on the ground mm -hmm. in the arena. Well, that's why the size of the arena is, you know. So updating as we go. It's this big because you're going to fight a dragon right after you fight a couple of NPCs. Right on. Uh, I got to use the bathroom. Okay, sure. Be right back. Uh, yeah. Now, someone just pointed out that D um, might have been as insane as he was because the other D was killed. And uh, it would... If they're never going to meet, it would stand... I, I can believe the idea of his mumbling crazy state being one where um, his other half being dead resulted in that. I if they're that. connected but they're but they're never to meet, so to speak. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe he was fine before that point. Maybe if he died first and the other D was alive, the other D would become that way. Yeah, yeah that, that that I can buy into that. Two makes bodies, sense. two minds, one single soul. One soul. They yeah. do not stand together, nor do they speak to one another. Perhaps this armor longs to find the way to the other D when looking at the twin twin helm description and the fun thing about a soul is that for write writing purposes and plot a soul can be and do whatever you want it to be it can or it can have whatever effects and after effects you want it to be you know i'm seeing something mm -hmm. when we saw fia around the dead d mm -hmm. Fia says the stolen hollow brand of the exalted noble has been returned to its rightful place. That would be what we gave to him, right? Uh, we gave him a weathered dagger that we re we got from Rogier. Uh, oh, what's up? What are you What are you reading? Fia asks Fia, to find the owner of some weathered dagger yes. made with gold and silver intertwined. Yes, yes, true. Now she gave it to us. marred by a black gash. It must have a special place in its owner's heart. Then we gave it to D. He said he would return it to the owner. Then Fia killed D and said the stolen hollow brand of the exalted noble has been returned to its rightful place. What's the name of that curse, Mark? Is it the hollow brand? For the room stuff? I believe it was. So did she take it off of D? Because the mark... I thought the mark would be on Godwin. Um, 
she me- she mentioned she was talking about the Hallow brand in the dialogue well, yeah. just just a minute ago. Yeah. Um, so she had one, and then he had the other half. Because um, the one is on Rani's body. Do you are you or is that the dialogue? What, is that a? Did you write down the dialogue of? what she said when we went up to her body? Is that what you're reading? Uh, well, it's not in quotes, but if I write it down, it means that it came out of her mouth like that. Okay, so can you read that again? Fia says, the stolen hollow brand of the exalted noble has been returned to its rightful place. And that's after, when she was around the dead bee. When she was at the body. And then she says, I have a message for the round table hold. Hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin the exalted. We who humbly live in death live in waiting to one day welcome our lord what right does anyone have to object our lord will rise the lord of many and the meek and then she leaves okay um so if what what is the description on this formed of the two hollow brand half wheels combined and we found one on Rani. So if she's saying that the hollow brand of the exalted noble has been returned, was it in D's possession? That would make sense. Um, and um, if he was out hunting those who live in death, then he would have had that capability. Yeah. Um, so... So there's two daggers, and then there's two marks, and then you put the marks together, and this is what we get. Uh, But yeah, it seems as if that would have been the case. So she had one on her, and then he gave us uh, the... uh, Or rather, he possessed the other, and then when she killed him... And she took it. She took it. That's Um, wild. How did he come in possession of it? uh, D was the keepsaker of the other brand to keep it from being found, and uh, could that curse mark be why D's soul split? carved Godwin's mark in the dagger, leaving it behind, maybe? Hmm. Um. Episode 44. Yeah, I guess, so what is the timeline of when he stole it? Or, and, and when would that have happened, right? Yeah, I'm not sure. Um, and also, like, once we got it from her, or once we got the one that she gave us, and then she has the other one. Um, well, we never really saw that second one again, did we? Right? We saw the one she gave. We got the one from her. And then we go over to Dean. We handed it over. Yep. And then and she then, kills him. Yeah. And... And we don't have the wetter dagger anymore, right? No. No. But, so there's that... So, um, I guess... Mm, Again, lot to juggle. Or yeah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> but so she takes off of him the one we gave him, and also one that he had. Am I or, or or is that, or is it she takes off of him simply the one the one we gave him? I, because when yeah. she says that, I think the reason why we just reacted normally was because we handed it to him. Yeah. So from our perspective, she gave us the dagger, we gave it to him, she kills him and takes it back. Yeah. Okay. So that's why we're like, okay. Um, you know, like <laughs> yeah. it's pretty straightforward sequence of events that she didn't want him to have it, and as a result, he's dead now. Um, this is what he looked like. He had like even the death stuff coming out of him. His body had the death root coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, yeah, we held on to the mark. The mark was separate from the dagger. Um, I guess I'm trying to. Is there any other implication behind that point that I'm missing here? I'm just wondering why D would have possibly a hollow brand half wheel on him.
does that mean? When she, the line of dialogue when she said it's fine, I, we've it's back. She was talking about not the knife. She was talking about the hollow brand. Yes. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry. That's what I was. Um, yes. I, I was uh, mis misunderstanding. Okay. Right. 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 Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, I was completely. I, I was confused because I was thinking you were pointing out uh, uh, the, the dagger. The dagger. I yeah, was like, no, yeah, no, we no. gave it to him. The hollow brand. No, he had. He had the brand. Okay. Yeah, that's unexplained. Rani had one. He had the other. Why would he have the other? And if he had the other. He had to have gotten it off of Godwin because Rani's came from her own corpse. So, so if the other the person came from Godwin was de-involved, the person who so the person who killed Godwin, yeah, would have access to that to the other one to that. And, and is it possible that D might have been involved? I mean, that's certainly not impossible, but. There's no other point at which in time, unless someone else approached Godwin's body yeah. and took it. Yeah. But um, we don't have enough information. Either he point. took, either he was directly involved and was the first hands on it, or, or he was giving it, after. or he was the second hands on yeah. it. Right. <sighs> so that's a pretty good uh, point. <laughs> Right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. When you mentioned, yeah, separating the knife from the brand and keeping those the mark itself. Uh, so, the, and the thing is, the item goes through different states too, right? Like before, it was a hollow brand. Wasn't the was the wasn't there? Um, what was it? It was a knife print, right? Uh, the first thing we got from the um, oh, that we gave to Rogier to uh, to analyze that we actually killed the boss with um, with. Fighting alongside D, right? Yo, D, mad respect, Black Knife Assassin. When we're fighting them, right? So we got the knife print, and then he analyzed that, and then uh, was able to give us more information. But yeah, um, and then he was like, "Oh, Rani's involved or something." Is that what he said? Okay. Um, Roger gives back the knife print, and he says that Lunar Princess Rani orchestrated the Night of Black Knives. Well, she said that Rani should have the death and death curse mark on her flesh. Right, okay, okay, sorry. So, yeah, that was the connection. The result of the knife print pointed us in Rani's direction. He says she orchestrated it. She should have the mark. She does have the mark, but she only had half the mark. And then the other half being with Godwin because he was killed at the same time. And the mark not being complete. Um... Because the fact, because of the fact that two were killed, yeah. so you know, uh, uh, this is all. And and again, everybody, everybody loves it. But well, actually, no. To be honest, like most people are like, yeah, this 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 kind of talk is fun. But you know, one guys, regardless. Um, so here's what I'm wondering, right? Because Rani so far doesn't seem to be a, a well. No one in these games can really be called a like fully good or bad person because uh -huh. everyone's got their <laughs> <Yeah>. own, <laughs> their own scope. But. Um, she doesn't strike me as, like... I'm sure she has her reasons, I guess, is the thought process, right? Is it possible that Rani... Her intentions were merely for her to leave her body behind? And um, another conspiracy... And that she... And, like, her being behind the Night of Black Knives, I guess... Um, her main goal was to abandon her own body... But a second thing was happening inside of that, which was Godwin's assassination. And by that happening at the same time, it causes the mark to split in two, whereas it should have been one. It's possible. Right? And then if it's split in two, then you can collect the other she half. Could, yeah, she could have said, like, okay, you can split it in two if both events happen, happen at the same time. So make it happen, and I'll take care of my it own It didn't body. sound like her intention was for it to be split in two. But I, but we don't know, right? She's after something, and and she's again, she's she's wants to kill the two fingers, and walk the path of the dark and the walk the dark path of yeah. the Imperium, whatever that might be, right? Uh, if that means she's down to be um, Imperium, but not be under the the greater will's influence and control, then it could be simply that. But 
uh, whether or not she expected or wanted that to be a two mark split or a single one is unsure up in the air but the the trailer lines and her dialogue did say that like because there were two deaths that's what happened um so yeah him having that on him is currently unexplained uh that's interesting okay uh, uh, I'm lucky that I just it was bolded in the text yeah. so I was like what well um oh, shit I there's something else no uh, not about him. Ah, I wish we could grab that knife description again, to be honest. The weathered knife? The original knife that Fia gave us. Uh, made of gold and silver intertwined. Yeah, there was not a big description, I think, on it. Otherwise, if there was something like lore related, I would have taken it down. Okay. I can look online. That's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah. Hmm. And, um, well, I guess, it, yeah, it really, what it depends on is what Rogier meant when he said she, Rani orchestrated the Night of Black Knives. Yeah. Right? Um, and that was a complete description, by the way. That sentence makes it sound like everything that happened that night was her call. And uh, that may or may not be the case. It was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined but is now worn down by and marred by a black gash well what would that the the the, the wetter dagger uh, so he must have it's done gold it. and silver it's gold and it's silver it's a gold and silver and dagger there's a black gash on it okay we don't have the dagger anymore yeah 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 okay yeah uh I mean, I have to read it another time. It's like Black Gash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Murder, murder, kill, kill. Good shit. Okay. Good notes. Okay, okay. Um, let me just confirm that it is, in fact, gone from our key items. Uh, yeah. Right, this was simply the knife print on its own. You use this to power the assassin's daggers. So you take a fragment of... Um, you take a fragment of uh, Garank's power, as stolen by Malekith. Uh -huh. You put that into D's dagger, and then you've got a dagger that can kill the gods. Um, and then you go to, you get up behind Godwin, you do the dirty, dirty, and uh, that's 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 where it all starts. <laughs> okay, so uh, we've got the constable in the library with the candlestick, but what we don't know is why. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hmm. There we have it. Are these scales part of Fortisex? Um, sorry, one second. Uh, let me... You know what? I'm just gonna Google it. Because, uh... The dagger is not the same as the knife okay uh, can you give me the, the, the name of um, the knife again the weathered dagger that we got from Fia well, okay so there's the weathered dagger that was a key item and then there was the knife uh, and what was the full name on that because uh, that one should be gone and one we might still have depending on the item type here Let's take a look. Dagger. Black knife. Okay, so we still have this. Belonging to one of the assassins who murdered Godwin the Golden on the night of Black Knives, which will perform oddly. On the oddly misshapen blade, imbued it with the power of the stolen rune of death. Right, okay. So this was... Um, this was what got... Uh, 
the power of destined death okay. as stolen by Malekith. Um and then uh, or stolen from Malekith. Excuse me. Stolen fr- stolen by Malekith and then from Malekith. Yes. Right. Malekith was a middleman in this in this yeah. equation, um, and. Uh, Yes, and the and the other thing where we were we just inferred was that Malekith would have done that on behalf of the Golden Order or in concordance with them, seeing as that allowed them to flourish. The sealing of death was part of what allowed the order to to, to come to be. Right? We just mentioned that not too long ago. There. Um, <laughs> oh boy, this is all talk, folks, and uh, we're getting there. But the weathered dagger. Give me a minute. I just want to see its picture. Okay, so it was this um, kind of ex- exploding, crumbling looking dagger thing there. I'm just looking at it. Okay. Yeah. Um, there you go. There you go. This is this is what it all kind of comes down to. And all it said was dagger received from Fia, the deathbed companion. She wishes for it to be returned to its rightful owner. Was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but it is now worn down and marred by a black gash. So, uh, the weather dagger and the black knife are not the same thing. However, they are both, um, well, though, no, the weather dagger has a note about it being specifically golden and, uh, gold and gold and silver. Um, and Rogier said, uh, that the assassins were scions of the eternal city. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And their blades were using the power of the rune of death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, now it's not mentioned in the description on this black knife, but like, is that like? Do you want to look at that hilt and see gold on one side and then silver on the second side of it? Or oh, we, I don't know. Are we getting into the into the weeds there? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. So. All right. Let's not get into the weeds on that. Yeah. Um, no. Okay. Let's just treat those two things as completely separate. Okay. Um, this dagger belonged to one of the assassins who murdered God with the, God with the Golden, and then the other was certainly a dagger of deep. Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, yeah, and this is a weapon we can, we can actually use. Oh, and then the actual ability to unleash the power of the Rune of Death to fire off a blade-like projectile. Yeah. Reduces the enemy's maximum HP and continues to wear down the HP for a while. We don't actually have a Rune of Death yet, do we? Yeah. yeah. That's... We've got a couple of runes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes, shit, sorry, I just remembered, um, the other thought. Uh, so, (laughs) God, uh, so the last little bit, if she, being, if Fia was talking about, um, and we just recorded it, if Fia is talking about, uh, in that moment when she, uh, was at the body, Mm -hmm. she's talking about, like, their lord, right? welcoming their new lord yeah um the initial thought might be oh she's talking about like godwin now is the prince of death ascending but in this conversation she seems fully well and aware that you're on your way to becoming the elden lord so is that conversation where she's talking about um a new lord that they're gonna welcome is she talking about you? That is to say me, directly. Oh. Because and not Godwin? Because here's the thing. What Godwin is here... He's not going to... He's not going to... He has... He's, his role in this... You, we, we, were, we, would, we were thinking up until now, perhaps, that she's in service to him and hoping that he will become the new lord. Right, yeah. but his role was conceiving the rune, which is going to heal the ring, which will allow you, who she intended it to have, to give it, who she intends to give it to, 
to heal to mend the ring. So if she intends for you to mend the ring, you're going to become the Lord. She's talking about you. So you're the actual one that they're doing this for. That would be crazy. You don't know it. Yeah. But it's it it feels like that's the setup. Right? Okay. I I wow. feel I feel <laughs> that feels real. Okay. Okay. One more sit for good measure. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think we can say we've done it. Um Jesus. Should we go see what we can buy with Fortisax's soul? Providing that Providing that the round table hold is not on fire. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let's go check it out. <laughs> okay, no fighting still. Okay. Uh, what up, fingers? Fingers are still, uh, quote unquote, alive and kicking. Uh huh. There's even a chair for you. Ridiculous. Literally what? Offer hole. Here. You can have... You can have this one. We can... <laughs> this, this is the only one we got. <laughs> huh? Stick it in there. <laughs> <laughs> not good enough fingers. No, oh. no, oh. not good enough. <laughs> All right. Well, we tried. Uh, what did I hit there? That was fire spermy, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. All right. <laughs> Didn't want none. We tried. Okay. So, wow. Yeah. Lich Dragon. That's a badass name. Well, it's 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 a fucking undead dragon, right? Oh man, tragic. What do we get from you? The lightning spear stabs from above with two red lightning spears in tandem. Fate 46, forget about it. Incantation that channels the power of the ancient dragon Fortisax. Creates two spears of red lightning and stabs them into the ground from above, one after another. It was a very cool attack. Yeah, yeah. On impact, each spear will burst into trails of lightning covering the area. Extra in water, I imagine. During the war of the ancient dragons... These twin red lightning stakes were the hallmark of one ancient dragon who was called the Mightiest Boulder Stone. Mm -hmm. Did Godwin take on not only a dragon, but like a particularly champion mm -hmm. uh, designated dragon? Good shit. Who's the boss around here? I will, yeah. <laughs> First day of prison? Yeah. <laughs> Who's the Don? Bow. Who's the big boss? Take a swing. And then Death Lightning, incantation that channels the power of the ancient dragon Fortisax, now corrupted by death. Strikes surrounding with a storm of Death Lightning, inflicts death blight upon foes, charging extends duration of the storm. It is said that this golden lightning was wielded by Godwin, who befriended Fortisax. Damn. Yeah, you punched the strongest dude in prison in the <laughs> face, and everyone's like, word? <laughs> and then he punches you back, and then you take it? And then you're like, all right, all right, all right. Not bad. And everyone's like, <laughs> yeah, we we do it together. Yeah, shift of power, right? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, are you gonna eat that cornbread? <laughs> Just, it's all yours, buddy. <laughs> Eat that cornbread. Yeah. Was that a uh, life? 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 Yeah, yeah, life. God, what a fucking. What a pull. Um, 
so yeah 47 on that one even this uh is another hilarious mashup of words because lightning is not deadly enough on its own mind you so let's 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 death let's cast death while we, we do it ghost flames ice lightning <laughs> just this crazy mixes. flame blood <laughs> flame blood yeah <laughs> Oh shit! That's cool. That's cool. Um, okay. Well, these both sound awesome, but uh, you know, not for me. Not for me. And what about sets? No new sets. Nothing. Yeah. Now go forth. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. All right. Oh yeah, and we got these armor again. Yeah. Did and it upgrade? Fia's uh, gear. We can verify whether anything has been added, uh, as well as checking her stuff out, too. A hood of black cloth that covers her whole head, worn by Fia, the deathbed companion, on her journey after being exiled from home. The fabric itself is soft as silk. She was exiled from home. Hmm. Okay. Did the twin helmet change the description? Uh... I was gonna do her set first. Oh yeah, no, go ahead. Fia's robe that covers the entire body. Uh, the fabric itself is as soft as silk and thin enough that those embrace can feel every, every pulse, pulse, every bit of her warmth. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Emphasize. Oh, that fabric is made for hugging. The best hugs. Wow. Damn. Okay. Okay. Damn. I could use one of those right yeah, now. Yeah, no. I, I there's there's a specific fabric of t-shirt that is <laughs> very nice when you hug somebody that's wearing it. You know? <laughs> it's like I I get it. Whew. I get it. And no leggings. It okay. was just two pieces, right? Yeah. And now that's it. it. Fia mode. The chest, uh, or the neck brooch area underneath looks kind of cool. It's almost like you have a suit underneath it, or like mm -hmm. a, like a button-up. Huh. Yep. Cool. Eyes red as fuck. Damn, boy. <laughs> Baked. <laughs> Lip. Alright. Faded. Faded. <laughs> It seems to be the same description same for one. this part. Yep, yeah. same one. Uh, twin mm -hmm. armor... Seems to be similar again. It's nice that they give you back the armor so you can, like, reread that and jog your memory. Yeah. Oh, same man. Shit. Ooh, gotta work. Gotta work to put this stuff together. Well, especially when it's spaced out, but... Yeah, same lore. Okay. Um, let's do this. Oh. Interesting. What about the red one? Yeah. Although it's like the I feel like they're the 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 hoods are too clean yeah. for like the drab shape uh, of her robes. Um she said so yeah, it mentions here that she's uh, exiled from home. Um, that's a that's a, a note that I wonder about, given that she's like born a deathbed companion. Yeah, you know, it's like that's gonna, that's your gig. Um, was there anything notable about her being kicked out, or is that simply what happens to all deathbed companions? You know. Uh, I don't think we have much else to go on with her. Uh, okay, let's look around a little bit. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Just going through the notes. <laughs> what do you got? Wooly calls Fia a thought because of her cursed items. <laughs> that shit dropped my life, bro. Well, I didn't know it was gonna drop my life. <laughs> 
Oh. Which That's reminds me. <laughs> this one. Gotta use this shit. Oh no, wait, we can't get them back. She's gone now. Oh, that's true. There's no kind. There's no getting them back. <laughs> oh man. In this ash, it reminds me of my first. I hope one day it'll remind you of something else. Um. Yeah. Okay. So, as I've uh, pumped those two levels in, you know, I'm, I'm definitely thinking about how um, a lot of people, you know, everyone's own game was beaten at a different level. Yeah. And um, I don't, you never know where you're going to be matched with where you decide to go. But um, I will say that... Uh, I think the level I'm at is basically the reward for uh, scraping mm -hmm. and um, doing things like, I guess, like getting 420,000 runes from Moog, you know, um, with because I beat him before you're supposed to. Yeah. But like um, even minimizing and not using runes from grinding just taking things off of bosses and and, and whatnot um it's gonna push you if i yeah but like if 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 it, if the thought is like oh i might be uh, too high for what I'm, I'm swinging at it's like i've restricted the amount heavily by discarding most of what i've gotten in the scraping process so uh i'm gonna keep rewarding myself with whatever i'm i'm, I'm, I'm getting as we play but it makes me think, man, if uh, I'm, I was like, I'm happy that I did decide to do that. Cause if I didn't, it would have been even more extreme. Yeah. You know, if anyone is kind of going like, oh, it's pretty high now. And it's like, it's high with me putting that cap on, which is I'm um, only cashing in the rewards. Yeah. You know, um, it would have been even more intense. So it's like, this is just a result of exploring the map, you know? Um, which reminds me that I am holding on to 43 and uh, yeah, nothing new over here. Right, you're still. So low fun. I asked you not to do still. All right, dude. Do I have any upgrades for my my shit? If I can get rid of this 43k, that wouldn't be too bad. We got the armor set from D2, but did he drop a weapon? The sword. Okay. Which we swung around and yeah, okay, remarked true. it's a normal move yes, set. Yes, yes. True, 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 true. Back already. No matter. Lay out your arms then. Uh, no, we don't. Okay. The last two places. Over here. Not yet. I think the message last time said uh, "try capital" or something like that. Yes. 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 Hello, Bloodhound Fang. I don't know what Ranny's up to, but she's taking her sweet time. If the fucking the fingers are right over there. Uh huh. Now we have context. We can make sense of some of these paintings. There she is. There he is. Oh. Up close this time. A different piece, actually. It's not the same one as the one in... It's not the same one as the one from um, Stormvale. Huh. And this... That headpiece, who is that? Is that a... Uh, no. Nefeli has a headpiece, but it, it doesn't have that, like... Trimming going down the side there. As if they would give her the respect of painting her. I was gonna say, hell no. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Ooh. 
red. That part over there, it's pretty faded. I can't, is that red or is it just the yellow of the lighting? Okay, yeah, the top looks more, looks more like it's red. And then that braid coming down is kind of golden. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have not seen Radagon yet. Nope. Except in statue form. Yep. With nice abs. Not impossible. Did Rani leave something on her seat when we... Rani? Yeah? Back at her, at her rise? rise? can go check. I feel like I would have grabbed, but there's a lot of things that are easy to miss. Okay, we wouldn't have died. It's we, fine. Would, we wouldn't have died. <laughs> Um, so when we came, when was it? We saw Salu we saw she was gone, and then we saw Saluvis' body, right? Isn't mm -hmm. that the order of events? But we did run up here and see that she was gone. What's going on? What is going on? What is going on? Oh shit, there's Grace up here. Wait, what? What is this? Huh. That's coming from out out that way. <laughs> Yo, frost? Ice? Ice witch? Girl, what you up to? Is this the move? Ranny's chamber. Uh might as well mark it direct. Oh, it is. Oh. Ranny's rise has become Ranny's chamber. The grace moved up. No, There's it's two not. Graces. Never mind. It's right next to it. Why would you do that? <laughs> let's take that away. And go straight to the chamber. And let's just mark the chamber down then. Odd choice. That's weird. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Can we talk to you? No. Huh. There's Grace right here. Okay. Uh huh. That is curious. Also, when we came in and she was gone, that was definitely not there. No, it wasn't. Yeah, okay, no. So, uh, that's not an item. So, uh, whoever told you that was, uh, tricking us <laughs> uh. into noticing. And, uh, and the grace is pointing in, in that, that direction, direction towards Rena's rise. Okay. Weird. Oh, we saw that she was gone on the map. And oh. we didn't walk up. That's what happened. Oh. That rings a bell now. Yes, true. We, we, we highlighted, and then, and then that, that was gone. Yeah. Boy, okay. Well, uh, that'll learn me, then. That's a weird, weird grace. It is a weird grace, but it certainly must be deliberate. And um, if it's not for any reason, then the direction it's leading, it's pointing, must be, the, must be part of the reason why. Yeah, there's a bunch of blue streaks coming from the sky. That's her making... I'm thinking that's her move. That's... That's... Yeah. that's Making it happen. That's the Ice Witch doing her thing. Uh, maybe her attack on the two fingers is not as direct as I expected. I mean, shit. If you can defeat your enemies with a world state change... <laughs> go for it. All right. 
who's gonna stop you. It looks nice. Any changes here? We came in and picked up everything we needed to. The other thing too is, uh, I think a grace mimic also, excuse me, points you towards points of interest. Um, right? That's that's pretty much what we got from them. Teleporter, and that got us started, didn't it? Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Oh yeah, talking about teleporters. Okay. That's true. We have another one to explore. <laughs> yeah, I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Nothing uh, notable about the rise right now, though. That'll compensate for the blessing. That's good, that's good. Which we now have to hold on to at a sentimental value. <laughs> Doesn't seem like, uh... Yeah, so that one's pointing in that direction. You know what? Um, I am curious if we do it from over there. Is it also going to point there, though? Like, will it point the same direction that uh, the untouched grace was pointing? So it would, in theory, be pointing this way, right? That's... That's the line. Just a quick test here to see, since we pretty much never use these things. Uh, not that one. That one. Nope. It is the Grace Mimic is not pointing the same direction as the uh, proper side of Grace. What a strange item. Weird. Alright. We can go... See what our... Our empty friend is up to. What the? <gasps> the merchant! Oh shit! Yeah. Please, I beg you, cease. Buddy, we're coming. Well, that's that's who I was talking about. What happened? Oh. oh. Uh. They got their revenge. That's scary as fuck, man. Oh shit. Can't target them. No fighting. <laughs> PD is bell bearing. Dolores, the sleeping arrow puppet. Yo. That is fucking scary, dude. <laughs> that is wild. Wow. No fighting. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Uh, oh, he was wow. he was he was all right until he died. Dude, nothing pays off, man. <laughs> nothing pays off in this life. <laughs> wow. With enough time, what was going to happen to Silvis? This is the fate of a puppet master. Jesus. Dolores the Sleeping Arrow. 87 FP required. One of Seluvis's favorite puppets. A spirit of a handsome archer who dressed in the style of a man. Called the Silent Hunter by some, she fires St. Trina's arrows from her short bow. Whoa! 
Dolores once belonged to the Round Table Hold, where she was both a critic and a friend of Gideon the All-Knowing. It was because of her that he and Seluvis went their separate ways. Well, uh, before I even finish my thought about Seluvis, there he is. That piece of shit was friends with that piece of shit. That's some Games of Thrones shit. Yeah. Why wouldn't they be on the same yeah. fucking page? Yeah. You were talking about like hidden in the shadows, having <sighs> talks and stuff. Little fingers and whatever. Dude. Just drop me another item that says, like, once upon a time, they used to hang out with their old pal Vare <laughs> before they went their separate ways. Yep. <laughs> All three of them just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, with different laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> <laughs> Just absolute shitbags. Okay. Well, where does Pedia fit in as a puppet master here? Um, interesting. I want to summon this lady and see what's up. So she's going to shoot sleep arrows. Mm -hmm. That's great. I really like the sound of that. Uh, bringing Trina back is very cool. But also... Um, she was a critic and friend of Gideon, and uh, I guess, I guess that that Naruto team love triangle had to do what it always does, you know, and sends one person off down the dark path while the other one continued down the dark path. <laughs> Naruto and Sasuke are both like, fuck it, I'm joining Orochimaru. <laughs> <laughs> He's all right. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, yo, that's a powerful fucking... That is intimidating as shit. You know, I'm curious. No fighting, right? No fighting. Okay, can roll on them? No, okay. no briars. No briars. <laughs> Poor dude. With a staff. Decrepit body. Mm -hmm. With their bare hands, man. And that's all that's all they that's all they they wanted. Yo, they're staring. They're done. What exactly is puppeteering? Were they activated by someone else? Or... Like, or were they just empty vessels, but real people were put inside of them? You know? You're still, you're still doing it, aren't you? He was taking care of the puppets. He was. And he's a servant of the Carrion Rollo family. Yes, but Saluvis was a member here, and we know that he was the puppet master. Uh -huh. So it would make sense that he was doing that in service of Saluvis. Yeah, and they took care of both of them. That would make perfect sense. Um, I don't know, that was sometime in the last couple minutes there. Let me just catch what he was saying. Yeah, here we go. Please. Stop, please stop. You're my puppets. I loved you with all I have. How could you forget such bliss? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, Reggie. Context. Oh, no. Hold up. Oh, no. No, 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 I loved you with all my heart. Who could forget such bliss? Even the doll. If it pleases you. Oh, they woke up and fucking took their revenge. 
Oh shit! Oh no! Pedia! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, that's dark. Oh, that's really dark. Wow. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, okay. Still want to hold on to that Ranny figure? I'm good. You're good? I'm good. Oh, good. I'm good. I'm glad you're good. Yeah. That's good. It's good that you're good. Back to Misato. Whew. Oh, man. Yeah. Dude, the dolls were alive. <laughs> like, see, you hear the stories, but... But the real dolls don't have souls inserted into them. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> um. E.G. Hey, stuff's going on. Buddy, I've had a long day. It's been a long day. <laughs> also... You can't see her streaks from out here. Too far? No, that makes no sense. No. Yeah. It's starting at her... Near her rise. At her rise. Is it going to work its way over? Slowly? Greetings, my friend. Lady Rani has departed along the dark path of the Imperium from Rena's rise. Now, Lady Rani, I pray that you... Yeah, okay. Yeah. Alright, man. Well, look. Um, let's fucking... Let's focus. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of friends. Yeah. Who are all rooting for us to claim the throne. They're betting on our ability to win it. So, uh, let's not let them down. You're thinking about Buck, right? Of course. Of course. The good boy. Bach and Ranny and, and you know, uh, Selin and, you know, I'm sure if we got to meet Blythe again, he would probably be like, yeah, you're cool. You're Someone's okay. Get in. Someone's about to be happy about it. Where the it. fuck is Blythe? God damn it. He wasn't there either, was he? He'll meet you up ahead or something. Where is ahead? We met the goddamn Prince of Death. Maybe beyond the the rut, I don't know. Okay, we have no death route to give Garank, right? Yeah. Um, bell bearing, shit. That's what I was wa I was in the middle of talking, and I and I, I was got signed uh, Yeah, I walked up to to the <laughs> to the, the twin. And then <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. sorry. It's fast. It's sorry. Fast. Man. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. It's it's gotta be it's gotta be Radagon. Like Radagon's gotta be hot, <laughs> right? <laughs> There's no way you're pulling good jeans. You're you know you're pulling off what Radagon's pulling off, and <laughs> just again getting business. How does he get away with this? You know <laughs> he can't keep getting away with it. Oh, he's a looker. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, well, that's how. That's that explains a lot. Yep. Studies have proven if you are conventionally attractive to the higher end of, uh, you know, what most people's opinions are of attractive people, uh, you have an easier life <laughs> in general. It is what it is. Radagon, the Bishonen. <laughs> Damn. All right. So, um... Pedia's shop should now be available. Which we cleared out anyways. And, um... And the other bell bearing we just offered was, uh... Pedia's. No, besides Pedia's. and... Some... No, it was... Some fancy name. Yeah, it, 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 I think it's the. I think we now have five and six. Ghost on and Ghost Glove Ward. I think that's what it is. Yeah, we now have we now have Glove Wards up to five and six. So yeah, there uh, was some fancy name for the the bell bearing. I forget what it was. 
God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> be fine, fine. Uh, we're going to get that weird upload message in a second. Because it's every time we do this, it's going to be like, can't upload. Uh, Jesus. What was it? We were just, we just did it. Offer what? Offer bell bearing. Come on. Ghost. Mm. Ghost form pickers bell bearing two. So, yeah, that's that's we got fives and sixes on our on our command. Pretty nice. So we can get any of our favorites up to six guaranteed. Uh, that's real. That's a real ass number. Mm -hmm. Duly noted. Um, Mimic tears looking at all the old ghosts like. What, what are you gonna do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, with that, um, there's two places I'm thinking of. There's obviously Greetings. north of inside the capital gates, and then there's also good old Mogwin. Yeah, which still might be might be popping off. Not too sure, you know. I don't know how crazy shit's gonna get down there, um, but. I am, I'm curious to peek my head in and see. So those are the two areas, because most of the underground is kind of cleared out now at this point. 